It is now time to demold this. Okay, here it is. Here's the front. Not bad. Just a little bit of bubbles in there, but not bad. I'm going to live with that. Now, what's happening on the back is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Trapped air. Trapped air. See? Right there. It's empty, empty. Got some cleaning up to do. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do this off camera, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some resin, pour each one, fill those up. Probably use a, a fast set, um, but I gotta clean it up. Not too happy with those air bubbles, but easy fix. So there you go, there you have it. The Lego cribbage board is on its way. Okay, so I filled in some of the uh, air pockets with a fast set two to one from Total Boat. So. Looks a little messy now, but it will fill in some of those air gaps. And I'll probably have more after I sand and I'll be back filling in again and resanding. But it's looking pretty good. I got a couple on the side here too. Uh, one right there. One right there. With this fast set, it'll set up in about two to three hours and then I can flip it and then do this side. So, all right, there you go. All right, everyone. So I kind of forgot to record my sanding process on the Lego board. Uh, but I started at 60, went up to 400, and then I coated with some resin on the front and the back to make it clear as day. And now we will drill the holes. All right, so what I'm doing here, I've sped this up uh, four times speed. My drill and my hands are not moving that fast. What I'm using is the Rockler uh, drill jigs uh, to uh, set my depth. Uh, now I'm using two of them and I'm trading off uh, because the drill tips can get pretty hot and I didn't want that to melt the resin. I wanted it to go straight through um, and not actually melt the resin instead because then you get some actual tear out on the resin itself. I always start with the the curves of the board um, and the scoring pegs first. I like to get those out of the way. And then all I have left are the three straightaways. Seems to work for me. Um, this template that I have is a full board template that I got off of Amazon. Um, and you can find those all over Amazon. Um, and it's a lot easier than the Rockler template, which is just a, a one piece uh, piece of uh, plexiglass that you have to keep moving. And this actually saves me about 40, 40 minutes, 30 minutes to 40 minutes uh, of time. So there's really a big time um, advantage to having the full board template.
The other thing that you see me doing is clearing um, the drill bits of the resin. Now with the resin, or if I do resin and wood cribbage boards, um, they do fill up and you have to keep clearing the drill bit, uh, which is fine. Uh, that's why you see that pile of resin and dust um, on the side of the board. That's just for me clearing it. Um, that's just something that happens uh, with these jigs. Um, you wouldn't get that uh, if you were using a drill press, probably as much dust, but you would still uh, probably end up having to clear your drill bit quite often. Now that I'm done drilling all the holes and taking the tape off that was holding down the template, but now the template is full of resin dust, uh, and this happens quite a bit. So I'm just taking a metal peg uh, that I was using to hold it down and uh, just clearing the holes. And I do this all the way through. Uh, a little time consuming, but uh, it's better than having a template full of dust. Now I'm just going to go through with the eighth inch drill bit to get all the dust that's uh, compacted in all the holes. This is something that I've had to do in all my cribbage boards with the resin. Uh, if I'm doing a wood and resin board, the wood does not get caught in the holes, but in, a, uh, in the resin parts of all the boards, and especially a, a board that's uh, almost 100% resin, uh, it does get compacted, and I just go through and drill them out. It's just getting the dust out. There's nothing uh, too, too hard about this part. Here I'm just taking off the tape that was protecting the back from all the dust. And now I'm going to use some 70% alcohol. Uh, you can use any type of alcohol if you want. I just use the alcohol to clean up the surface before I polish it up, and that's all I'm doing right there. This is the uh, plastic polish that I'm using, it's Novus, it's the second step in the Novus uh, polishing system, and I just rub it on and then I just buff it right off. Makes it nice and shiny, perfect every time. Here I'm just putting on some rubber feet on the bottom of the board. So there's the video of me finishing the Lego board. Look at that. Look at how nice that is. Just check it out. Oogie looking. that nice? So a couple things. Uh, I poured this in layers uh, to try to avoid some air pockets. Um, and as you saw in the earlier video, I did have a lot of air pockets uh, down below. Uh, underneath, actually, and there's still some air pockets that I never got to. I don't know if you can see that uh, when I sanded. So those are just going to have to stay in there. Um, otherwise everything else turns out pretty nice in this thing. Um, I'm going to throw it in auction or on auction um, probably on eBay. I'm trying to find a different website. Um, all the money for this board is going to go to charity. So if it's up uh, on auction when I post this video I'll put the link below. Otherwise, uh, look out on Mike's Paint Studio on Facebook for the links and everything. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Comment below. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you uh, to try something new. And uh, just uh, 
you know, sky's the limit when it comes to resin. Peace.